We're here with Pam Thompson from Reed's Gallery in Rosebank. Pam, tell us about some of these pieces of jewellery you've got. I've chosen three pieces of jewellery because I think they're quite interesting. This one is paste and it's French and I think um, 1860, 1870. Um, and in those days, um, I think South Africa being a gem country, we, we really, uh, a lot of our, our, our customers relate to gems and the price of gems and they don't give paste a chance in the fact that, that it's the item and it holds a price because it is paste. Um, and this is the same kind of thing. This is pinchbeck, which is an alloy of zinc and copper. And this, the, um, the stones here are um, glass or, or, or paste. But they, they hold a price and internationally people collect paste. And how old is that piece, more or less? This one is about 1860, 1870 as well. We've strung it up with modern poles and it's a piece that you can wear to a, a dinner party or you know, one that doesn't have to have a to go to a ball. Crime was around in, in Victorian times and, and even in Georgian times, crime has been around forever. But what uh, we've often heard stories about um, men who've taken their wives' jewellery and, and uh, copied it in paste and, and uh, metal and their wives go happily. They've and some never ever knew that, the it, it, yeah, that they weren't wearing the, uh, the real thing. And I suppose wives have been known to do the same. same. So.